Hello students. So let's begin with another important chapter which is surface areas and volumes. This is a very important and interesting chapter because this chapter is very essential especially for students who would like to pursue your career in the field of civil engineering and architecture because it gives us an idea as to how we can actually imagine objects of different shapes and size and how we can actually calculate the surface area and volume. To begin with, I have listed out a sphere, hemisphere, cone and cylinder. So what is the surface area of a sphere? A sphere, if you imagine a ball, okay? So the surface area happens to be 4 pi r square, where r happens to be the radius. And the hemisphere, imagine a ball which has been cut into two and we need to find the surface area, not the base, but the surface area, which is 2 pi r square. Now when we talk about curved surface area, CSA stands for curved surface area of a cone. So you've seen a cone and we only need to find the area of the cone and not the base. So the curved surface area happens to be pi r l, where r is the radius of the base and l is the slant height. And the cylinder is 2 pi r h, where r happens to be the radius of the base and h the height. So here, when we talk about a cylinder, say if this is a cylinder, we need to find the surface area of the curve, this area, not the base. Right? So the curved surface area is given by 2 pi r h. So before we move on and solve the exercise problems, let us go through the four examples which have been given in the textbook because they're very interesting and important. It is a kind of a warm-up exercise and then in the next video segment we should solve all the problems given in the first exercise. So let's move on. The first example, we need to find the area of the top which has to be colored. So you can see the figure on your screen. So this is a top. So you have a cone here and then we have a hemisphere. The total height is 5 centimeters whereas the diameter is 3.5 centimeters. So what is R? R, the radius, is 3.5 by 2. And what about the height? Let this be H dash and let this be H. Now what is H dash? H dash is 5 minus 3.5 divided by 2 because this is nothing but the so what is this height h dash h dash is nothing but 5 minus 3.5 by 2 because this is the radius isn't it so the radius remains constant which is 3.5 divided by 2 so 5 minus 3.5 divided by 2 which is 1.75 so we get 3.25 centimeters so h dash is 3.25 centimeters and r is 3.5 divided by 2 and we need to find this length L. So observe here, this forms a right angle triangle where this distance H dash is 3.25 centimeters and this happens to be the radius. Alright, so the radius is 3.5 by 2 and I need to find this length L. So what is that length L? So L is root of 3.25 the whole square plus 3.5 by 2 the whole square by using Pythagoras theorem. So if we calculate we get the value which is 3.7 centimeters. So now let me try to find the total surface area. right? So the total surface area of the toy is nothing but the curved surface area of the hemisphere so the curved, I'll, I'll write CSA, curved surface area of hemisphere. I'll write HS for hemisphere plus the curved surface area of cone. So what is the curved surface area of hemisphere? That is 2 into pi into R. What is R? R is 3.5 by 2 the whole square plus. So we need to find the curved surface area of the cone which is pi into r into l, pi is 22 by 7 into r, r happens to be 3.5 by 2 into l, l we have just calculated it is 3.7. So when we try to find these values, we get the value of the hemisphere which is 
18.703 and the curved surface area of the cone if you calculate so make sure that you do the calculations correctly so it is 20.35 so I get an approximate value of 39.06 centimeter square so this is the approximate value so example 2 a decorative block is shown which has a cube and a hemisphere right so we need to find the total surface area of the block so of course there is a cube so we have a cube here so we need to find the total surface area so what is the total surface area the total surface area of the entire block is nothing but I need to calculate the total surface area of the cube all right and then I also have to calculate the total surface area of the hemisphere but then I need to subtract the base area of the hemisphere so if this is a cube and on top of it is the hemisphere so when I calculate the total surface area of the cube it also includes the base area the base area of the hemisphere so I calculate the surface area of the cube plus the surface area the curved surface area of the hemisphere and I need to subtract the area of the base of the hemisphere so that is how we get the total surface area of the cube I mean the total, total surface area of this block so now the total surface area of cube so let's do it one by one the total surface area of the cube is 6x square if x happens to be the distance of one of the sides of the cube right so the base of the block of the cube is 5 cm so x is 5 and the hemisphere has a diameter of so the diameter of the hemisphere is 4.2 so therefore the radius happens to be 2.1 cm so the total surface area of the cube is 6x square so that is 6 into x square is 25 so I get 150 so now what is the total surface area of the block the surface area of block is nothing but the total surface area of cube as I already told you plus the curved surface area of the hemisphere but then I need to subtract the base area of the hemisphere minus the base area of hemisphere that is equal to the total surface area of the cube is of course 150 plus what is the curved surface area of the hemisphere we know that it is 2 into pi which is 22 by 7 into r square which is 2.1 square minus I need to subtract it from the base area of the hemisphere right so what is the base area the base area is nothing but the area of the circle which is pi r square so the radius is 2.1 pi into 2.1 square so pi is nothing but 22 by 7 so this is 22 by 7 so in fact this is 2 into 22 by 7 into r square so this is 2 pi r square minus pi r square so this can be written as pi r square itself so when I do the calculations what do I get so we get 150 plus 13.86 so the total area is 163.86 centimeter square so this happens to be the total surface area of the block considered so example 3 is very interesting a wooden toy is in the shape of a cone on a cylinder if the conical region has to be painted in orange and the cylinder has to be painted in yellow so we need to find the area which has to be painted which is orange and the area to be painted yellow so there is a toy which is of the shape of a cylinder and then on top of it is a cone alright so the total height is 26 centimeters so the total height is 26 centimeters and then we find that the height here is 6 centimeters and what is to be painted orange 
So the conical area has to be painted orange. So this area has to be painted orange. So I need to find the surface area which has to be painted orange, which also includes a part of the base. So if I consider the base, so also what has been given? The base of the cone. So this is the base of the cone and this happens to be the base of the cylinder. So this is of length 3 centimeters and this diameter is of length 5 centimeters. Okay, so I need to find the area to be painted orange. So what is the area which has to be painted orange? It is definitely the curved surface area of the cone along with, so this portion. So here, this region is where the cylinder is placed, isn't it? So this portion has also to be painted orange. So how do I get this area? I need to find the area of the larger circle minus area of the base of the cylinder. So now let, let us try to find out the area which has to be painted orange. Area to be painted orange is nothing but the curved surface area of cone plus the base area of the entire cone. So here is a cylinder and here there is a cone. So this outer region also has to be painted orange. So which happens to be this area. So I find the area of the base area of cone minus the base area of cylinder, right? So here the base area of the cone minus base area of the cylinder. I hope it's very clear and it's very simple. So now, what is the curved surface area of the cone? I need to find this curved surface area. So of course, I have to find the slant height L. So this height, of course, is 6. And what about this? This radius is 2.5 centimeters, so I need to find L. So L is nothing but root of 6 square plus 2.5 the whole square. So when we do that, we get 6.5 centimeters. So make sure that you do the calculations correctly. So now here we have the curved surface area of the cone, of course, is pi r a plus the base area of the cone. So what is the base area of the cone? It is pi r square. So let this be r, 2.5 be r and r dash, let this be r dash. So r dash is 3 by 2 which is 1.5 minus pi r dash square. So I have pi 22 by 7 into the radius. So what is the radius? The radius of course is 2.5 into L which is 6.5 plus pi into R square which is 2.5 square minus pi into R dash which is 1.5 the whole square. So if I do the calculations here, so if I take pi common which is 22 by 7, I take it common. I get 2.5 into 6.5 plus 2.5 square minus 1.5 square. So finally, if I do the calculations, we get 63.585 centimeter square. Okay, so this is the area which has to be painted orange. Now I need to find the area which has to be painted yellow. So area to be painted yellow is of course the curved surface area of the cylinder plus the base area of the cylinder. So the curved surface area, so the curved surface area of cylinder plus the base area of cylinder. So what is the curved surface area of the cylinder? The curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h. So it is 2 pi r h plus base area of the cylinder of course is pi r dash square. So r dash is 1.5, isn't it? So this is 1.5. So it is r dash square. So it is 2 into pi, which is 22 by 7, into r. So what is r? r is again 1.5, because it is the radius of the cylinder, which is 1.5, into h. So what is h? h is 20 here. 
So this is H, which is 26 minus 6, so which is 20, plus pi, which is 22 by 7, into 1.5, the whole square. So finally, we get the area, which has to be colored red, which is 195.465 centimeters square. So this is the area which has to be covered yellow. So we need to imagine and we need to identify the area correctly. The area which has to be colored in orange and the area which has to be colored in yellow. So example 4, the bird bath cylinder with a hemispherical depression at one end. The height of the cylinder is 1.45 meters and the radius is 30 centimeters. So find the surface area of the bird bath. So here there is a cylinder. So this is a cylinder, right? So this is a cylinder and then there is a depression which is in the shape of a hemisphere, right? So there is a depression here. So I need to find the curved surface area of the hemisphere plus the entire area of the cylinder. So how do we do that? So we need to do that by using uh, this expression. So the total surface area. So the total surface area of the bird bath is nothing but the curved surface area of cylinder, right? Plus the curved surface area of hemisphere. So we need to be careful because this is in meters and this is in centimeters. All right. So this is equal to, so that of the cylinder is 2 into pi into r into h. And this is 2 pi r square. So we have 2 pi r into h plus r. So this is 2 into 22 by 7 into what is the radius? Radius is 30. So convert meters to centimeters. So we know that 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So this is nothing but 145 centimeters. So this is equal to 145 centimeters. Okay. So 145 which is h plus 30. So what have I done? I've converted meters to centimeters. So when we do the calculations, we get 33,000 centimeters square. So if I have to convert this to meters square, so what do I do? Divided by 100 into 100 because centimeters square isn't it. So this gives me the value in meters square, right? So we need to move four places to the left. So I get 3.3 meters square. So this is the total surface area of the bird path. So with this much of introduction, we have seen that how we can actually solve the example problems. I hope you've got an idea as to how these problems have to be solved. You need to actually visualize the problem and draw the diagram correctly and then try to find the surface area. Right? So in the next video segment, we shall solve all the problems given in the first exercise because it's very important for us to visualize the entire structure of the figure which has been described in the form of a sentence. So do make sure that you do uh, watch the next video segment and do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads and also join the telegram link. The link has been given in the description so that you get all the updates of all the uploads of 10th mathematics.